So welcome to the Debian Meet Wolf. I just announced it yesterday, it might be a little bit late, but um, perhaps some people who are interested can come in later and also in the morning. So I've, I've heard the wireless uh, started working at 2 o'clock yesterday in the, in the night, so perhaps people are just sleeping now. Well, I have prepared three little slides with nearly no content. I want to say where we come from, where we go, and where we are and where we want to go. We come from, well, here's a little uh, funny image from, from the uh, LSM in Bordeaux from, from 2001. In this stage, we had well, um, in Debian about four uh, packages about microbiology. Which are partly orphans so or had no maintainer. And we had this strange idea here in Bordeaux we should do something about medicine. So the idea was a little bit born because um, there were some people there in the medical track at LSM. This is called Liberal Software Meeting, also, I don't know this event, who tried to translate an installation of a medical program, or installation advice for medical program into several languages, French and Italian and so on. But I thought, well, what's, what's the sense of translating installation instructions instead of making some packages and just install the program? And so I gave a talk on the next day and so, so the idea of the Debian Made project started. And currently we have um, about 40 packages that are concerning about uh, topics like microbiology and genetics and so on. We have nine packages uh, which deal with medical imaging and we have even one practice management program. But well, the program is uh, the available free upstream software for practice management is, is nearly nothing so it is just in the very beginning and so it is very hard to pick up some software which is useful to manage a medical practice. So as the expectations in Debian Med are very high, high, people hear, oh Debian Med, I take it and will run my medical practice with, with free software and I have to make some people a little bit careful because it is not really possible. Then we have uh, up to now a system of so-called meta packages that um, allow the interested user to just draw in the uh, interesting packages. The problem is if I'm a, a new user, uh, say a biologist who heard about Debian and that Debian might be helpful, he might manage to install Debian and then he is, is lost because he will not find all the interesting stuff amongst this 15,000 or 18,000 or whatever packages and he will not have any fun to read through the, the descriptions and so it is quite easy to say him well install the say mid biology package and you get everything you need and you are ready and this is the sense of this meta packages and it works for medical imaging we have also meta packages for the development of medical applications and also biology applications. If you wonder why um, I have so, such a strong focus on biology, I'm working in an institute where is done some preclinical research, which DNA sequences and uh, so people just uh, need this for for medical research in the wider sense. There might be some people who think, well, we should start a Debian biology project. This is fine, but up to now, nobody really started to do some uh, um, Debian biology project, and so it's just included here. It, it works. Then we have some, a system of uh, some user menus. So if you install these uh, meta packages, you get um, as a user, uh, the menu where you see all the applications that are interesting for you. So 
it's some kind about visibility in the inside day behind this, this project to make users aware there is something which is interesting for you as a user that is specialized in medical care. Well, we also have a website, a mailing list, and well, just a group of people who are reading this mailing list and, and contributing to uh, to the medical stuff and this is very helpful and this group has grown over this six years and I'm quite happy that I am well I, I do not really have to care anymore for the biological stuff because there is a strong focus because of the simple fact there is some free software which deals with the stuff the clinical part is, is not so which covered as I said before but I hope this will change in the near future. And about the future, we have some something on our to-do list, uh, like this Emboss suite, perhaps you have heard about it, this is kind of larger suite for microbiologists, who, um, are, who is, uh, which contains a, a large data sets and so, and this package is in, in experimental currently, and we are discussing currently on the Debian development list um, which, uh, or, or how to uh, include large data sets in Debian. The problem is you, you can't not plot the archive with, with, with gigabytes of data which is used by well, a handful of users, so it makes no sense. But what makes sense? We have no real idea of what, what is reasonable. Um, we want to include some clinical applications. Um, I've told you that we have the GNUmate client package. This is uh, currently more or less my turn. And the GNUmate software has also a server component, which is a little bit more difficult to package. And I just had no time to do it. I will do it once I'm back from that conference. A little bit more time. Then there are other practice management systems you can, well, maybe you see it like uh, everywhere in the world are people who are thinking how can I uh, manage my medical practice system and assume they are not connected to the internet and just start, start programming without any, doing any research before and this is the reason why we have perhaps 20 programs which are all programmed in a different language, in a different uh, uh, database system uh, using some using web applications, some some the native client, but there is nearly no communication in between these projects. And it's really strange because it's uh, such a split of the forces you can observe there. And my hope is to uh, to find a way with, uh, with this Debian main system to to integrate some of the interesting projects and to make them feel that there is something else and they can start co-working together. This is more or less. Uh, a political intent um, to, to get these people together because it's, you cannot, uh, cannot compete with uh, commercial producers of programs if you are split all over the world and, and not work together. It's this kind of community forming. Then we have also some medical billing systems which are well, kind of specialized uh, to, to each country because every county has a medical billing system and so it's, it's a little bit hard for, uh, to decide which is reasonable for packaging because it's quite a special thing but we we'll try what we can do. And then there is um, one really large application, it is called Vista. It, is, uh, it intends to manage a um, hospital and it is used in the United States. It was uh, sponsored by the, some veteran organization, uh, and it is a very advanced system, and it is a really good system. It's also free software, but the problem is it is programmed with MUMS. Has anybody heard about MUMS? No? I also not. And it's, it is a very special system, and it should be very clever to handle. Uh, databases, but it has a very steep learning curve, and we had to first uh, package MUMS, 
but nobody knows about it. But I just can try it and look if it runs. And then we have to make it to Vista. And Vista is a problem. People who are programming this system told me, well, it is free software because we, we are really sure that people come to us and sell our service because it's so terribly difficult to install, you will not manage it anyway. So this is our, I think, really good news from a packaging, packaging point of view. But this is a thing we need some more manpower, some more time or whatever. But it is on our to-do list because it is the only system which is really worth uh, mentioning is as a productive system. So then we have some medical research tools I'm keen on packaging. It is called NetAP. Um, some uh, people which are, who are concerned with medicine uh, might know this AP Info system. This tries to implement this AP Info system, which is an old DOS program uh, as a web application with a PostgreSQL database. And then there, there are some R tools for epidemi epidemiology research, which I would like to package. Then on my to do list are further um, common uh, custom event distribution issues because I think we can uh, implement more advanced techniques uh, like uh, automatic website generation from the package description. So, for instance, we know what we have, uh, uh, which packages we have. The, um, the link to the packages uh, of medical imaging are in this med imaging package. So if we use a dependency <coughs> list and look at the description of these packages, we could auto-generate uh, the, the stuff we have in, in every field. And this is some interesting thing because, well, Canon for the website is, is just a boring thing for everybody. Nobody really likes it. And so um, it would be nice if we can do some automatic uh, mechanism. Then I would like to uh, implement some uh, better desktop integration and as I said, I, I try to do it this in the custom Debian distribution scope because I think every custom Debian distribution would have to deal with these issues. And um, I, am, I would like to push this um, topic because um, we in the Debian Mate team are uh, quite a weak force and we need some, some more people to, to program some code and to, uh, to help here in this direction. And so if we manage to, to convince other people like Debian Edu and, and so which are much more to, to use common tools, we can profit in, in the whole um, Debian for, from, from these techniques. And so I'm always talking about custom Debian distribution if I'm on Debian conferences and whatever. For the future, I also think about um, implementing um, further communication channels like IRC. I, well, I have to admit, I'm, I'm quite an old man, I'm 40 years old. IRC is a technique I stayed away for, <laughs> for the last years and perhaps I, I have to change my mind about this because if it comes to the moment where we get more people and get a, a better system running, it's, I think this communication would be necessary. And on the distribution side, I think we should care about uh, an installer that uh, installs CD that just contains the medical stuff. So uh, if if we if we are we think we have something really to to show the people, then we, we should be able to give them an uh, install CD which inst installs all the medical stuff and uh, is prepared for just running uh, a system that's, that is covering this and not so general. Um, Debian, which makes just more work if you know what you do. <coughs> then perhaps an interesting topic would be a live CD just to show off uh, some exhibitions and, and give people something that I, I know that people are really keen on getting a live CD if, if they are uh, on a, on a exhibition booth and so perhaps we should try to do something this direction. And um, another goal is uh, for me to 
get Debian made effort a little bit more visible in the general Debian installation. If you install Debian from the DVD, you get pastel and there's desktop and, and whatever and, and printing server or whatever, but the, the things like Debian Evo and Debian Junior or Debian Mate are, are completely hidden. So people do not notice that there is something. And so I would like to convince the installer people to give us a hook to uh, attract people in this direction. So this is what I uh, think is interesting for the future. And well, I think we could do some, perhaps everybody could introduce himself to, to say what's, what's his interest in Debian made and so we learn to know and can discuss a little bit <coughs> about how we can work together. Start here. No, no. Start here. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, well, I work for a company that does um, a data entry application for um, drug trials. Mm. Um, we base it currently on uh, Ubuntu. Mm. So I'm just saying if there's anything interesting in uh, Debian Med that you can use or give back or something. What is this? Uh, are you producing some, some free software application? Or? Um, no, the, the software is proprietary. Yeah. Okay, there's no, no problem. I just think about uh, I have really no problem. Uh, I always. A bit more to interrupt your sentence. After the boss, please fix the power out that was duct tape and close it. Um, sorry if I if I have some talks about uh, Debian, I think the idea is also to use the system for service providers, for uh, for doctors or so that they use Debian made to, to install a stable system and sell services for, for this and so it is perfectly okay to, to base proprietary uh, software on Debian made or so. And if you think you have some some wishes or needs, so just tell us what, what we can do better so to do to fit your expectations or so. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm Daniel from the back and uh, currently I'm, I'm I'm not a boy from me, but uh, my spell by that. So I'm Geshi Zoom and you sent me here so I'm here. <coughs> no. Supervisor is Steffen Möller and yeah. he is uh, packaging some microbiology application. If you if you don't work for him, uh, exactly you will get bad marks and so you have to return it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite easy. Uh, my name is Andre. Um, I'm a pediatrician yeah. and work a lot on intensive care yeah. units. So that's kind of what I'm interested in. And you are hoping that you can spread some free software for your um, yeah, I've got two interests, I guess. One is developing or getting involved in a project working on software that would be useful in an intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. um, so that would either be neonates or paediatrics or adult intensive care. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is, uh, as part of doctors' training, particularly in this country, but I think other countries as well, um, there's a move to having logbooks mm. and keeping track of like what procedures you do and which types of cases you've seen and what your experience is. Mm. Um, so I'd be interested in some kind of software that that would work for that as well. Yeah. So yeah, so you could keep track of like the patients that you've seen as an individual as a doctor. And Maybe anonymise the data. Yeah. Well, definitely anonymise the data, but you know, have a record of mm. what procedures you did at a certain time in your training mm. and so on, so that you can show that to people. Are you just a Debian user, so are you are comfortable with Debian system, or? Yeah, I also do. Um, I do various sysadmin service, a few Debian servers. Um, I've done quite a bit with the Linux V server mm. projects as well. I mean, not loads. Uh, I'm not a programmer or anything, mm. Mm. but I'm interested in learning. And no. yeah, I'm comfortable with Debian. So, so I, I think it's, it's at least to my knowledge, it's, it's not 
so much there that would help you. you know, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just that we try to, to get some people to, to start programming on the common base or so. Yeah. yeah. But no, I'm interested in getting involved. So yeah, sure. That's nice. Uh, <coughs> my name's Sean. I'm not actually involved in the, the medical community at all anyway, but I, I've been uh, tangentially involved with, with uh, Debian Med via the DB config common stuff, and I, I was just very, just wanted to be here, sort of, you know, be a fly on the wall and, and hear about uh, uh, sort of how the, how the group is forming and, and uh, how it relates to some of the custom Debian distributions. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Uh, Michael Bond. And I'm, I'm not a man, I'm, I'm a chemist actually, so I'm doing chemistry um, packages for Devon. So that's also why, why I came here too, mm. because it's financial, so yeah. to the biology part. But I have also to say, I'm, 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 physici I'm a physicist by profession and just dropped in by chance as a medical field, so I'm, I'm no expert at all for this stuff. And so the idea is also to get some some general, what, what we do for the we do we want to for chemistry and for physics and whatever, for the sciences and so on. Perhaps we can adopt some, some ideas so of course there's currently no such such uh, group that cares for, for this application in, in the other side. I've noticed one's that then. <laughs> I guess another interest is just like being a medical perspective in the project as well. In so. what? Uh, another thing that I could kind of contribute is just being a medical perspective in the projects, yeah. as opposed to a kind of tech perspective. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm Jose Barrela. I'm from Venezuela. Um, I'm not involved in either uh, medical schools or chemistry or biology, but I've been working with the government in Venezuela in order to um, promote free software and specifically Debian. Mm -hmm. And uh, until now, most institutions, medical institutions in Venezuela and public healthcare are so also uh, does paperwork for all their medical practices. Mm -hmm. There's no paperless system, not even in proprietary software. Yeah. So I think um, even med is a good option in order to provide them with, a, with an alternative for their paperwork. And that's actually time consuming and money consuming having all the paper and it's actually in a Latin American country it's, it's um, a way for corruption you know because uh, paper can be easily changed but free software provides a sense of security um, oh, but software that I can also <laughs> yeah. but the, the interesting thing is that this GNUMED uh, project started with the idea that uh, if you have some Paper, you can provide uh, copies to, to the um, health insurance companies. And this is, the paper is quite safe, but the electronic data are not so safe. And there was implemented a system that is sending uh, every evening uh, a MD5 zoom of all your data is sent to a public server, or not only one server, to more than one server. and if uh, um, a doctor is um, uh, gets sued for misusing data. Also, he has a chance to to uh, prove that his data is not changed because he can say there are the five MD5 zones. This is a secure system, and so um, it was uh, the first idea for this GNUMED uh, system was to prove that the data are not changed. So Perhaps this is something, but I think the main problem is that, that they are missing this application. Perhaps you have some gifted pro programmers who are. are no, they use Excel, you know. Yeah. They have all their patients mm -hmm. in Excel or Access. Yeah. It's really fun. Why not, why not open office at least? <laughs> okay, so I can't give any more hints. <coughs> I'm Michael Moya from Cuba. Uh, the, my situation is similar to the one I has, uh, has explained. It. I work from, for uh, InfoMed, uh, the National Health Network. And we would like to, to met uh, Debian Med in, in more detail so uh, we can explore some, some ways to, 
uh, change uh, knowledge, uh, give, give something back to the community, try some application. We don't have a, a more automated uh, operation. Everything is uh, paper, paper basic, mm -hmm. and we would like to, to take the opportunity to 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 try and know uh, the the most used application, free application, uh, in order to 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 get better get better fits in there. We have uh, been adopting Debian since uh, years, uh, year about uh, one year or two years ago. Uh, the the network used to use Red Hat and. Then we had uh, switched all all nodes to the mm. uh, Specifically, I, I work for the telematic uh, IT IT field, but uh, I would like uh, to to get some knowledge uh, or or, met, or present the met to the staff uh, directly involved with uh, medical operations mm. and concerns. I think so. The best hint I can give to you both is uh, we have uh, on the mid Debian mid website we have um, some well I call it to do list about medical applications and there is some some list of practice management system and clinical management systems and you could try to work down the list and try to to evaluate these projects which are well perhaps working in, in, in your area and perhaps are applicable and then that you try to package these uh, systems and bring it in. But my feeling was that they are all not not really complete. And the main reason is, in my opinion, that um, some random doctors or IT stuff uh, thinks, well, I need a system and sits down and starts programming. And this is not not the way um, complex software can be designed. And so this uh, software has uh, very often um, a weak design and needs really really much work to to make a good system. But you, if you have nothing, you can just take this and and, and try how it works. There are some projects also. It's called care to x or whatever. Or you try to to implement this Vista stuff, but. You have to be very brave to, to get it running. Yeah. I can only one, but if, if you have some manpower and can do it, I would do everything to support this effort. This is, this is a really strong system, which is just hard to, to get up and running. So let's give it a try. Or, so. yeah, MJ Wang, Debian developer, and like also for work, proposed for some hospitals to use free software applications but very much general things so far sort of uh, web applications like Plone and so on I know a few hospitals and other places that are starting to use them and so I was really just here to find out a bit more about the specialist yeah. side of things yeah. yes it's also interesting to to learn to know which say special Special configurations, so uh, medical people need for for any clone or Apache. If, if there are mm. some special things we could do in some pre-configuration, also that we that we just prepare the system to to be easier to use for medical stuff. So if you have some ideas, just I think it's a good idea to join the mailing list and bring in your ideas and so on. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm Luca, coming from Switzerland, Gmail on the web. And I am biologist for my PhD in uh, Geneva. And uh, so I follow the list since three, four years now. I caught myself on my diploma some problems to interact with the Ensemble database, because at that time there was nothing more. And uh, I don't work now with the bioinformatics, because I most switched to laboratory lab. But the main problem in life is that I don't want to choose who is uh, Debian. And uh, the other problem is that the two, the most, the two most important problems that are for analyzing genetic sequence are commercial software, and uh, there are no user-friendly way to analyze them for the other people in the lab. So that's the main problem. Actually. So 
this, this biologic software is often quite good in, in, in the, the function, but uh, the usage is well, different. Something only uh, pipe your, your data in and get your output out and so on. It's, uh, uh, it's not really what, what biologists uh, like and uh, want to use. So. Have you any ideas how we can work together? Or <coughs> my, my general suggestion is to join the mailing list, or do you think that we, if you know the mailing system, do that we can do something better also? Any ideas? I have a question. I know that there's a distribution which is uh, science uh, related, science focus, which is. Quanta, something yeah, like that. Yeah, quantum. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. How is uh, integrated with DMA? Well, um, not really, because the quantum is, uh, is derived from Knopics, and now it is just a live DVD that tries to contain all the scientific software in Debian, and so it's uh, the, the uh, Dirk Edelbüttel or so. so. Is, is, uh, has a contact with me and he just draws in uh, what we prepared in, 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 in the, in the uh, scientific part and so this is contained on this DVD but it's a little bit different approach just uh, well, he, he is working with this live CD, DVD or just installing it on the computer I don't know and uh, just thinks that that this is the best way to support his users. I'm, I'm not really convinced because I think uh, um, if you prepare a, a live CD, you have always uh, um, continuous working with, with a, uh, Debian updates, and so you have to. Uh, you are always busy to, to, to work with this. I'm I'm more a friend of the the idea to to make uh, things inside Debian visible for the user who are interested. It's, uh, this DVD has also a, a large collection of R tools. I don't know if uh, uh, it is even more than it's included in Debian because it comes from, from the statistics part and also how is this main tool. This is what I know about this. And there are other live uh, um, CDs. I, once I made a list, uh, there are also biology related, there are I think at least three competing projects which are all in a, in a different state. This is a problem of a live CD that you, well, it is just read only and if you prepare this, it is not up to date anymore. And so I think it is um, nice if you want to convince people that there is something and they have some, something to take at home from a exhibition booths, but for real work, it's not the best choice in my opinion. And so, and there are also, I don't know if it should call it a competing project, there is a, from the BSD side, a project that also tries to collect biological software, and we have worked down the list of uh, software they have, and we cover nearly everything what, what they have. They have some applications more than we, but we have, have as a zoom more than and so forth. And I think we, we should work together here. And then there's also, I think it's, uh, it's here in the UK and at any university where people build uh, so-called, if I remember right, bio Linux, they take also Debian as a base, but they bundle their biological software themselves. I contacted them once or twice how about just taking out packages and they have some certain issues, some special distribution system in their university and they say, oh, well, it's a little bit hard. But they were not able to explain to me really consistent why they can't use Debian here. Don't know. Perhaps I just switch and work together with others. Yes. Any other opinions?
down 100 Google hits for things he might enter and so it is just to, to make life easier for, for those people and so this packaging is in my opinion the, the, the best idea. So anybody else? Oh you were talking about adding some hooks to the install or something. So can you elaborate on that or how no, unfortunately not, because um, um, in before we released Sarge, or when we it was in the Sarge release, there was, I think, um, a Debian Junior entry in, in the past sale list. And I really liked this, and I asked if we can also add a, a Debian Junior kind of a redo for, for little children. So, there are some games uh, stuff, there is uh, a writing program which this uh, project regarded as fit for small children, not so complex in the painting program and uh, learning, typing and, and so on. Um, so if you are a medical specialist, they are uh, trying to build a distribution for the child as kind of specialist. So. And the student junior was in principle, the first project was this uh, attempt to support a special user group, and I adopted some ideas from them. And so I asked um, the maintainers of task cell to also include Debian in this list. And I, uh, it turns in the reverse effect that uh, not Debian Mate was added, but Debian Junior dropped out because they decided this is too specialized uh, um, to be interesting for, for the general user. And while I agree that this um, custom distribution might be too specialized, I think um, the, the general entry point like Tasse is, is not a really a good one. I think modern install systems have uh, some kind of tree you can select if, if you want. In Debian you can select desktop environment. And I think this is just stupid because if I if I uh, I'm a new user and see desktop environment, yeah, what, what's that? What's uh, uh, perhaps some user have heard about GNOME or KDE or uh, XFCE or whatever? And so I think for those user who who know that there is something, you should have kind of a tree. If there's desktop, you click on desktop and get a tree and select your desktop choice and so on. I mean, it's the same thing with GNOME and KDE. Those people who know about it can just download the KDE CD. So why shouldn't yeah, those yeah. people who know about Debian Mate yes, but what just download the Debian Mate CD? Yeah, but what is the sense of such a desktop uh, um, machine entry? I, I, I see not really the sense because... Well, it's for people who don't know what a desktop is. Yeah. Or, or not interested in any specific. Yeah, or, or okay. Or if I get some, perhaps a better, better <coughs> um, thing is, is a database server. Yeah, there's also an entry database server. So <coughs> if people are running a database, they have a clear opinion about the database they want to use. Well, yeah, I think that should really be improved in the end. Yeah, but yeah it's, it should be improved. You should, be, should have a. But I don't think that I should. In my opinion, uh, maybe the better way would be to just add all the the um, custom Debian distributions to the website. Right? 
I mean, I think Ubuntu, yeah. for example, does that. They have they have all their custom stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not so much on the website, and you can just download the CD. And I think that entry point is better than trying to yeah. sneak it into the installer, but having it low key. Um, then you would still have to tell people, well, you have to check this point, and then mm -hmm. down there, and somewhere it will pop up, and there you can select it. Because otherwise, I don't see it coming. If we just yeah, have desktop and no yeah. desktop, then mm. that being made is so out of scope. Everything else as well. I mean, I would like, mm. of course, as well have. I yeah, but this, this is a different thing. I, I agree with you that we should be more visible on the rest website, but the website of Gbrand is broken anyway, so <laughs> we, have, uh, we have to uh, discuss with the people. Did you try to get to more integration to the front ends like yeah. Synaptic? I'm not sure whether Synaptic has tasks. Prominently. Yeah, that's this, this is, uh, is what I wanted. Uh, there are two different things. Uh, I'm, I'm actually no fan of this task there stuff. And uh, moreover, the, 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 the other front ends like Aptitude and Synaptic should should have also more support. support. This is also right. Hmm. So, so I, why to, to, to finish uh, what I mean with, with task there, I would wish we would have a uh, further entry, custom event distribution, and if you click on it, you can select the one you need. It, it's, it's an idea of mine, but it will not be implemented because this idea of a tree is, is not accepted by Joy. Mm. Uh, okay, this and probably will not be accepted in the future. So the next point is if you finish Tarsel, you, you um, are suggested to, to, to run Synaptic or Aptitude or whatever, and then at least at this point, we, we should be anyhow present. I, I, I have not re no, no real idea. My suggestion is to, to use, if you use synaptics, you can uh, do some, some regular expression search and so you search for uh, mate uh, minus and then you get all the mate packages and then you can select. But this is a uh, kind of weak. This is not what. Well, it would be Debian text, right? Well, then yes, we can also use Deb, Deb text. Are you using these? Uh, okay. Not yet, but we should. I, I should find some time to, to use it. It's that text is a, a really nice technique, uh, which uh, just uh, that text is, is kind of a library. You you can um, uh, to to uh, yeah how to categorize uh, packages. You can categorize on uh, under different aspects. Uh, the aspect can be a programming language, a user interface, and, and whatever. And so we have the. Also, an aspect is interesting for medicine and uh, synaptics can work based on this um, that text. So well, I did not try it, but I heard rumors that it works. I don't know if you know. And this is an interesting thing, and we should definitely deal with this that text. And uh, many of the medical or the the, um, the applications or packages that are inside the of it are just detected and so we could work with, with it. I think that would be easy. Yeah, and for, for the website is I, I think we, we, we should definitely enforce people to, to enhance the website, but I, I can't do it because I'm, I'm focused here and uh, I, I really hope that somebody will uh, go on and perhaps even put some money on it and say, well, we, we need some web designers who we, we not need a, a nice shiny website, but we need a functional website and we need a website where people can find such key points and um, this is not, not a, a question of the color of the fonts, but uh, we, we need somebody who does a real good web design and for instance he can gain some fortune from, from Debian uh, fonts or whatever to uh, just just to get set something out which is a, a modern web design and sehr we should find a way to, to be present and, and visible for, for the users. This is right. Yeah, some more suggestions? Okay, maybe I missed it earlier, but um, do you also master CDs for that you made? Not yet. I think, you it's, think it's, it's currently not, not worth the effort because okay. um, it's, it's, it's too less. People who uh, who are interested um, can currently use these meta packages, but um, it is. Uh, I mean, it would be much easier, I think, if, if you can point people to to one ESO 
and yeah. so, so they could download and then it would automatically get the stuff. Yeah, but, but I'm, I'm afraid uh, if people hear Debian Mint, I, and I you think it's ready and then. I think the thing is it's ready and it's especially so you can manage your medical practice. This is, right. I, when I had, it was funny, I was last year at Linux Hag in Tirol, was invited by a company and was sponsored of my trip and so and I had my talk. And then afterwards, I asked uh, the person who sponsored this talk uh, if, if he liked it. And he said, well, um, no, I, I, I have not, not heard the talk. I had some, some different business, but it was not so really interesting because we were talking just about me medical practice management. And this is ex exactly what I not was talking about because it wasn't. So people have uh, normally a, a very great misconception about it. Okay. It's, it's, uh, uh, I have in my talk the top 10 misconceptions about Debian made and, and on, on top is uh, Debian made is just medical practice management. And so if people come with the expectation to get this uh, um, master CD and get the medical practice management system, see, there is nothing like that. Uh, I think they, uh, they just learn that Debian made is nothing worse for, for their business and, and employ it for the future. And so I'm a little bit uh, well, I think in, in two years we can, we can do this and perhaps there is something and then uh, we can catch people better than, than providing something they, they do not expect. Yet. Maybe I'm wrong, but, but this is a reason I have not to use this CD for the moment. And ten, 10 minutes left or so? No, 15. 15. If there are no further questions, we can go hacking again. I'm, I'm here for the, for the whole week if there are some more questions. I would be happy if I would see you show up on the mailing list and provide some input. And if you have some some research done on an interesting system or find some new, we can at least put it on our to-do list and it is it's also very helpful if we learn which projects are worth for packaging. This is also a very valuable information we, we need to do not spend time on systems that are not worth the effort. I just found one project which was called TK Family Practice and it was from the outdoor uh, uh, announced that it was great and he is fully managing his uh, practice with the system. Then I downloaded the tower which was 85 megabytes large. This was quite large four years ago and this project was written in uh, Tickle and the main source code was about uh, uh, 500 uh, kilobytes, and in this tower was a complete PostgreSQL server in source, in object code, and executable. And 10 other projects just merged together and put in a tower, and you should install it on your machine. And so, this, this absolutely does not fit Debian standards of quality, and uh, the program itself was, well, it, it was like that, I would, would say. Other doctors said, well, I can't understand what this person is doing. So this is a, a problem you, you face in, in different projects that um, yeah, people start programming things for, for their personal issues or personal, personal tasks and do not think about the general design and so on, which is needed if you try to, to uh, get your, your software accepted uh, worldwide. So if you, if you uh, are uh, able to find something which fits this, or you can can come back to me in private and we can look for, for something I, I know and I can be paid with you some hints, uh, perhaps it's very helpful. Okay, so I think we, we should finish at this point and it was nice to, to see at least some 10 people. Yeah.